All right, let's watch this one. Signing is desperate. No strategy, Kane and Neville debate. Casemiro survivor at Manchester United. Let's see. Casemiro here just All around right. us at Old Trafford a few moments ago. Are they getting there in terms of their transfer business? Well, I think it's a good signing for him. They paid a lot of money. He's 30 years of age. You know that what was it? Five-year contract he's got. So. If you're a player out there, Man United come looking for you, you know you're going to get a great deal. But Ooh. yeah, it's the start, but they need some more. They Ooh. need more help. The problem is for any player coming to Man United now, as good as they are, they're coming into a bad dressing room. They're coming into a bad group of players because we've mentioned it before the last year or two. These players don't, they don't want to run. They don't seem like a good group. So that's a problem for any new player, however good they are. But what's the message that it sends, you think, when they are signing, a, a, a albeit a very good 30-year-old, on a four-plus-one-year contract on very big wages? They're desperate. They're desperate, but I think he is a quality player. Of course, you could look at the bigger picture and go, to obviously, there's a lot of money. Again, long, long contract, a bit like Ericsson getting a three year yeah. deal. You know, the agents out there must be delighted to deal with Man United, but when you're desperate, you've got to, you've got to pay over the odds, I suppose. You agree with that? Yeah, that, 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 that's why sometimes now I don't get as excited as I should do as a United fan about the signings that come in because I know that they're not actually part of the strategy at the start of the summer. Every other club's really precise. You don't see them bouncing around like a pinball in the transfer market for one player to another. It's the young Rabio, and it ends up being Casemiro on a phenomenal contract that's going to cost the club £160 million. And I have to say, I think he'll do well for the club for a couple of years, Casemiro. But someone, in two years' time, is going to pick up a player that's going to be beyond his best years on £20 million a year that they can't shift. And that might be Eric Tan Hag, it might be a new manager, it might be new owners. So it is an element, there is a large element of desperation with the signing because a five year contract for a 30 year old should not happen. Yeah, he's kind of right off that, but still, it's five years he's going to be playing until 35. But and then, like, Real Madrid like, does it like one year, one year, one year, one year till the end, till the can't play anymore and doesn't want anymore to play. But yeah. Uh, good to see, great video, and uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, yeah, nice, good to see, man, nice, great video.